let me show you some useful things that you can 3D print. You are out and about. Something needs a quick fix. And your only option is your bulky, ancient screwdriver set. Trying to show a huge handle and a box of bits into your pocket? It's awkward, it's heavy and you look ridiculous. Stop the struggle. This is a SmartBits magnetic bit holder and its ultimate mini screwdriver system you can carry in your pocket. It's not just storage, it's a compact powerhouse that locks down every bit you need for emergency fixes. Printing is a breeze. I ran this off in high durability PTG, a tough PLA works too. Your printing two main halves, no supports, no complex geometry, just set it and forget it. I printed three pieces for me in three different front colors. You'll need tiny 5 or 6 mm to 2 mm magnets. Pop them into your designated slots and they snap right in. This gives that secure and addictive hold. Slice the two printed halves together. Look at this, your essential bits instantly accessible, secured by magnet power. Grab your bit, pop it into your pocket driver, and that repair is finished before a traditional tool could even leave the toolbox. And the smart bit system is the last word in portable organized fixing. Print this and put the full toolkit in your pocket today. Your knives deserve better. Stop letting them chip and dull in chaotic drawer. We need storage that is custom and compact. This is 3D printed honeycomb knife block. The ultimate modular system that gives every single blade its own safe, protected home. The best part? These honeycomb tiles print fast in durable PLA, but PTG would work great for a high durability kitchen item. To get these strengths right, you need designer's profile. We are using 0.2mm layer height and 0 point line widths for top cover and base part. The genius design lets them simply click and lock together. There is a slot for TPU gasket. You should print the gasket if your surface is slippery, as this block holds sharp knives. There are two versions of base, with or without holes. I printed with holes, so my knives dry while staying there. That's what designer states. Look at that organization. Every knife is safe, every edge is protected. From chef's blades to utility knives, everything is instantly accessible. Go print yours today. Hold on, before we jump into all these incredible practical models, there is one big problem. Our poll revealed that most of you don't even own a 3D printer yet. But that shouldn't stop you from enjoying this video, because today's sponsor PCBWay has got your back. PCBWay is way more than just a PCB manufacturer. They are your one-stop manufacturing powerhouse. They've got rigid PCBs, flexible PCBs and rigid flex boards perfect for compact gadgets and wearables. Plus, they'll assemble and test them for you as well. But here is where it gets exciting. Their 3D printing services are insane. They offer FDM for budget prints, SLA for detailed resin prints, SLS for tough nylon and even metal printing with SLM technology, plus precision CNC machining and sheet metal work in stainless steel, aluminium and even titanium. Here is my favorite part, their instant quote calculator. Upload your file and boom, instant price. No printer at home? Grab any model from this video, upload it to PCBWay, and they'll print and ship it to your door. Maybe you'll need in high volume. They offer injection molding too. Huge shout out to PCBWay for making this possible. Links in the description. Now let's check out these amazing prints. We've all been there. You grab a quick bite on the road, or you need to fire off a quick email in the car, and suddenly, where do you put anything? Your console is too small. Well, my car even doesn't have one. It's kind of a car collator every driver might have at least one time in a life. But check this out, we are printing the car tray table. This is a simple and super practical print that clips right onto your car's steering wheel. This print is designed to be tough and durable, which is why I'm printing it using PTG filament for maximum strength and heat resistance. You want something reliable when you are driving around. Assembly should be easy, just several slides. In reality, it's enough, but sometimes I'm so perfectionist. So I want to remove this ugly line.
I think it's now better, just like a real product. Okay. Uh, I'm eager to try that. Okay. Just like this. Slide this onto your steering wheel. That's it, just like that. Look how stable this is. You can finally have a real lunch break in your car without juggling your soda. Or turn your parked car into a legit mobile office. The best part? When you are done, it's so thin it stores away practically anywhere. Hope you feel how useful this print is. Let's be real, we all know we need a cleaner air. Have a look at the sunbeam in your room and realize you're basically breathing in a dust storm. We love the smell of fresh print, but let's be honest, breathing in melting plastic fumes isn't exactly a health tonic. However, have you seen the prices of brand new air purifiers lately? It feels like you are paying hundreds of dollars for just a plastic box with a fan inside. Why burn a hole in your wallet for a fancy logo when the technology is actually incredibly simple? Stop overpaying and start printing. Meet this really printable air purifier, the ultimate budget hacks for clean air. This clever design lets you build a high-performance purifier for dirt cheap by utilizing affordable, standard 20cm Xiaomi air purifier filters that you can buy almost anywhere. It is designed to be a hassle-free print. All parts fit on a single build plate and require absolutely no supports. You can even customize the top vent pattern to match your style using sparse infill setting in your slicer. Oops, I don't know why, but my filter is 21 cm in diameter, so the cap doesn't fit. Ok, to fix the problem, we had to remix the model for 21 cm filter while keeping the cooler size the same. And while remixing, we adapted the model for this 12V DC input jack as well for better placement. But after printing, I found one more problem. I used PTG to print the first one, but as the model has extreme continuous bridging, I got this kind of ugly surfaces. And I tried PLA for the second time and got more better even surface. Assembly is ridiculous. You just need a standard 14cm PC case fan and power supply. Plug it in and you've got the same filtration quality as the expensive units for a fraction of the cost. Since it uses verified Xiaomi HEPA filters, you know it's actually working unlike some DIY hacks. It's quite effective and you can swap the filter in seconds by just lifting the top off. It's the smartest way to breathe easily without suffocating your bank account. But keep in mind, all Creality K2 series has built-in air filters inside. However, if you want the best filtration or your printer doesn't have one and you don't want to mess with wiring or printing parts, just grab the Creality Air Purifier FDM version. It's the ultimate plug-and-play solution that's compatible with most Creality printers right out of the box. You just plug it in and its medical-grade HEPA and carbon filters instantly start scrubbing toxic fumes and smells from your workspace. Do you ever get tired of endlessly stirring paint, epoxy or even your coffee by hand? It's tedious, massive is splashed, and honestly, you never get the mixture quite smooth enough. Instead of buying expensive lab equipment, why not print your own? Check out this 3D printable version of this classic magnetic stirrer. It brings that satisfying, lab-grade mixing power right to your workbench for a fraction of the cost. After several hours of print, you can start the assembly with two strong round magnets. So, the assembly is done. Drop the magnetic pill in your liquid and start steering by the handle. Oh, look at the perfect vortex. It makes it completely hands-free and saves your time for actual making. Plus, you can use a drill for faster mixing. A total game changer for any maker on a budget. I broke it. Okay, no problem.
Life. Breaking news in 3D printing world. We are officially moving past small trinkets and entering the era of functional furniture printing. This is a side table by Aiki, a trending model that proves you don't need an industrial printer to go big. The designer used a clever modular split part technique, breaking the table into 10 interlocking sections that fit on a standard build plate. This overcomes the Z-hate limitations of most consumer printers, but in our Creality K2+, Plus, most models look so tiny compared to its build volume, so I ran all parts in his printer. Print took long hours non-stop batch printing. I used pure PLA for this model, but if your pocket can handle, I would recommend you to use at least PTG or ABS, and the designer provided ready-to-use profiles to slice. It requires about 1.5 kg of filament and stands 45 cm tall once finished. The parts connect using printed pegs, but for a permanent furniture bond, applying CA glue to joints is highly recommended. I used CA glue and epoxy for better finish and durability. So, painting is done. Let's check the paint quality. So if you look at the top surface, it didn't come out very well. Look at this, it's glue. And here we have some printing marks. We have to do something on this. We have to do something. I have a better idea. Let's try it. Look at this finish. It looks less like plastic and more like high-end wood. It's a conversation starter that you build yourself layer by layer. Functional, stylish and 100% printable. This is a feature of DIY furniture, I think. It's a perfect example of how modular design is changing what we can create. Look, I usually focus on prints that are all about utility, but this one, this one completely broke the mold. Have you ever seen a fidget toy that's not just distracting, but genuinely mesmerizing? Most are either clunky or just don't offer that satisfying perpetual motion. Well, get ready, this is the orb loop. This is the first fidget I printed purely for the fun of it. It's a super quick win on the printer. You are looking at under 2 hours with standard settings, 0.2mm layer and 2 walls. The design is clean, meaning no supports, and is practically ready to go right off the bat. The only thing you'll need besides the plastic are 10 6mm steel balls. You just fill the balls in through the loading slot, snap on the tiny printed cover and that's it. Minimal effort for maximum payoff. Give it a quick, decisive twist and watch it go. The balls roll through a hidden endless track as the outer ring turns. It is silent, addictive and infinitely fun. If you want a perfectly pointless, precision printed marble on your desk, this is the one. Go, print an orb loop today. The small orb loop was cool, but it was just a desk toy. I wanted that mesmerizing motion, but big. Big enough to be a genuine art piece. Remember, we use 6mm steel balls, but I want big version to fit 16mm marbles. The design page already declares how you can scale it up, but I had a different idea. I needed a remix for wall mounting, and that meant contacting the original designer. 
Bogdan. I am stoked to say Bogdan was awesome. After some back and forth conversation, we created the Orblue Pro Max. Look at this thing. It is scaled for 16mm balls and it barely fits on my Creality K2 Pro build plate. This is the biggest, coolest, most complicated fidget toy I've ever printed. Finally, let's attach it. Now, stand back and behold the kinetic spectacle gives the ring a decisive twist. We turn it a desk toy into architectural art. Get this epic remix file in print profiles of the model. You are out camping, hiking or waiting in line and all you want is one comfortable place to sit. But who wants to lug around a bulky chair? Those cheap flimsy stools break after one trip and anything durable takes up half your backpack space. It's a huge pain, that is, until now. Introducing the compact collapsible camping stool. This thing is a total game changer. It's a fully functional rock solid stool that completely disassembles and stores inside itself. The best part? It's a 3D print. I print mine using a robust PTG, but for maximum strength seriously consider ABS or even ASA. The designer says it can hold up to 150 pounds if printed correctly. Oh, I'm about 200 pounds, I don't know if it can hold me, but we will try when we finish the assembly. It is split into a few manageable plates and I kept my settings simple. 0.2mm layer height, 4 walls and 15% cross hatch infill for the core components, resulting overall 1.2kg and nearly 2 days print time. By the way, the red components were printed in TPU for soft area and locking mechanism. Assembly requires zero hardware, you just take the three legs twisted and do the following. Wow, it has some serious wobble. I'm afraid to try, but let's take it outside and see. Let's first check how much time does it take to assemble it when you get it out of your bag. Okay, remember the weight limit? <clears throat> but, but, but I have to try it. It feels alright, I think. My legs are easily resting in this position. I can easily read books and enjoy the nature with this tool. But when I came back to workshop after the hiking, I found this amazing portable stool model on MakerWorld. The designer says it will take about 1 kg of plastic and over 24 hours to print. Well, it's been a little bit longer, but no problem. As this model is fully printed in place, he provided instruction on how to open the collapsible stool. Okay. Time to test. The designer said it may withstand 120, 150 kilograms if you sit perfectly in the center and don't wiggle on it. But it's print at your own risk thing. Do not forget. I hope you liked my tests on these 3 d printable and portable stools. Which one did you like? If you ask me, I would prefer the second one.